हेलो बच्चो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री क्लास टेन एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट थ्री वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश दी वन टू थ्री क्वेश्चन इन अवर पास्ट वीडियो एंड एट पॉइंट वन एट पॉइंट टू एट पॉइंट फोर इज ऑल्सो अपलोड एट सो यू कैन चेक इट आउट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दैट इज इफ टेन ए दैट इज इफ टेन ए is equal to code b code b we need to prove that prove that a plus b is equal to 90 degree that we need to prove okay so we will start with the basic question here the solution is 10a is equal to code b okay so 10a is equal to code b by using the identity we can write down that code b can be written 10 90 minus b by using the formula cot theta is equal to what 10 90 minus theta so by using this identity after putting this in equation number 1 or in our question we will get what we will get the 10a is equal to 10 90 minus theta okay or 90 minus b because in this case this is 90 minus b theta is b so we can compare the both the sides and what we will get we will get that a is equal to nothing but 90 minus b this b comes on the right hand side left hand side a plus b is equal to 90 degree that we need to prove hence proved this is your question number 4 very easy question similar to question number 3 we will go ahead with the question number 5 now what is question number 5 is if sec a or sec 4a is equal to cosec a minus 20 where 4a is an acute angle this 4a is acute angle acute angle is which angle which is less than 90 degree so this is less than 90 degree we need to find out a since this is 90 less than 90 degree so we can apply the formulas like sec and cosec changing so we can say that by applying the formula we know that sec theta is what cosec 90 minus theta so by applying this formula what we can do here sec 4a can be written as what cosec 90 minus 4a and by using the first question cosec 90 minus 4a is what is also equal to sec 4a is also equal to sec cosec a minus 20 so we can write down like that is equal to cosec A minus twenty. Now we will compare both the sides. Ninety minus four a is equal to a minus twenty. So ninety minus four a is equal to a minus twenty. This four a goes there and this comes here. So one hundred ten. Ninety plus twenty is one hundred ten. Four a plus a is equal to five a. Because this is negative, so there it goes positive, and this is also negative. so it comes here positive so 110 upon 5 is equal to a so a is equal to 22 degree that's your final answer i hope you get it now we will go ahead with the question number 6 of this exercise question number 6 if a b c are interior angles of a triangle a b c are interior angles of a triangle interior angles okay so suppose there is a triangle basically it, it should be a right angle triangle okay i am drawing a, this one only a b c with respect to the points a b c okay so a b c are a right angle triangle of a right angle triangle or those are basically interior angle triangles so what we need to prove here sin 
since we are using functions so it must be a right angle triangle okay it must be a right angle means any angle can be 90 degree maybe angle a is looking 90 degree so sin b plus c we need to prove this b plus c by 2 is equal to cos a by 2 okay we need to prove this since this is a triangle and in any triangle the in sum of interior angles angle a plus angle b plus angle c is always equal to 180 degree got it or not so from there i can write down b plus c is equal to what 180 minus a equation number one now i will take the lhs lhs is what sine b plus c by 2 okay we will go ahead with that we know b plus c is what b plus c is sine 180 minus a by 2 can we separate this two okay we can separate this sine 180 by 2 minus a by 2 we are separating the two okay now it is sine 90 180 by 2 is 90 minus a by 2 so what it will become 90 minus a by 2 now we can use the identity sine 90 minus theta is what cos theta okay so it can be written as cos a by 2 answer that that is your rhs i hope you get it now we will go ahead with the question number seven hence proved okay question number seven is express sine 67 degree sine 67 is given plus cos 75 degree okay cos 75 degree is given in terms of trigonometry ratios between 0 and 5 degree 0 and 45 degree we have to express this in 0 and 45 degrees sometimes the student cannot understand the question here it is given 67 here it is given 75 we need to convert it into in terms of 0 and 45 degree so we will simply use the equation sine 67 degree can be written what sine 67 can be written as sine 90 minus 23 is it or not we are just breaking down 67 can be written 90 minus 23 which is nothing but and also cos 75 can be written what cos 75 can be written as cos 90 minus how much 15 degree we are just breaking 75 into 90 minus something thing okay now we will use the identity we know that sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta okay and cos theta is equal to what sine 90 minus theta so we will use this identity by applying this identity in both the equation in this equation and in this equation what we will get sine 67 can be written as cos 67 degree or cos how much degree you have to check it from here 23 degree this can be written as cos 23 degree and this can be written as sine 15 degree and in the question they are adding it so it can be written as cos 23 degree plus sine 15 degree this this number this number belongs to 0 to 45 degree okay in between 0 to 45 degrees so question is changed little bit the values are not changed even the cos 23 degree plus sine 15 degrees always equal to sine 67 degree plus cos 75 degree it, it it doesn't mean the values are changed it just we have expressed in some other th functions with some other angles okay so you can get it hence proved okay this is your exercise 8.3 and we have finished the chapter trigonometry you can check out all the videos 8.4 8.2 8.1 and 8.3 is also finished now so we will go ahead with next exercise it will come soon subscribe the channel thanks for watching